I am Jean-François Obadia from Lyon, France. I am a cardiothoracic surgeon. And we are going to discuss about mitral valve surgery according to the guidelines. And I have the pleasure to be here with a hard team because I have close to me Prakash Punjabi from Imperial College, London, and also uh, Professor Popescu from Bucharest, Romania. My first question will be about the indication According to the guideline, can you summarize what are uh, today the main uh, indications for mitral valve repair? I think it's important to mention that we increasingly use mitral valve repair over replacement because it allows, uh, it has a significantly lower mortality rate compared to replacement. It allows for a better LV function and it allows, it avoids the complications related to having placed the prosthesis. We have indications for primary MR and secondary MR, which are quite similar in the European versus the American guidelines. However, what is important to mention is that still, on one hand, most of these are expert-based indications, so not coming from big randomized trials. And secondly, they don't cover all the aspects. This is a problem. This is a problem and for the cardiologists, they have to know about those marginal indications, very complex scenario, and this is what we want to discuss. The first case is concern the elderly patient. Over 80, we know that the patient has to be symptomatic, otherwise no indications are required. So can you elaborate of what are the comorbidities which can lead the patient to surgery or not? And this is not always an easy uh, discussion. Yes, I think that's an important question. First of all, of course, we need to make sure that symptoms are related to the valve problem because they often have symptoms related to comorbidities and then have a thorough assessment starting from the clinical parts. And we have several risk factors that we may take into account and calculate a, an overall risk score whereby, of course... Are you confident in those scores? Because they have been very disappointing in the literature. So. Can you comment that's, on the score? That's absolutely correct, especially in, the, in this age population above 80, I think. But don't forget, we have got so much better in offering surgery for repair. Our repair rates are high, success rates are high, that we are now able to think about offering patients in the two spectrum. You have the elderly age group and the asymptomatic. And of course, there is no accurate scoring system, but you can use the surrogates of others because what we are doing is we yes, are now yes. broadening but our... But what is important for the cardiologist is to know what are those surrogate markers. Yes, of course, it is extremely important. But the interaction as far as the heart MDT yeah. is that we can discuss it together. This is the main one, heart yes. MDT. So concerning that, there is one thing which is important to me is the evaluation of the connective function. Can you elaborate on this? The elaboration of? Co connective function, the neurological the aspect. Yes, of course. We need to have a patient who has a good quality of life, who is supposed to, to get the full benefit from surgery, who is supposed to have a life expectancy, a uh, reasonable one, at least of one year, and who is mostly yes, able to manage himself. Also, uh, don't forget, we, we, we now have much better tools at looking at an 80-year-old. Not all 80-year-olds are the same, but a lot of 80-year-olds are actually leading active, healthy lives and, and by that, we can assess them much better than the available scoring system. You just now uh, mentioned about the five-second distance test. It yeah. is such an right. easy tool. It, it is amazing that you can get a very good predictor right. of what the patients like to be. Yeah, and concerning the debate between repair and replace, when we have a young patient, we try, try very complex repair, and it's not a problem. But if you have a complex repair in an elderly patient, it may uh, increase the comorbidity. So how do, you, how do you change your, your mind? Of course, it is important to assess fully his problem and what is needed to be done. And it is important to shorten the operation time. OK, so I think now we have to conclude and uh, the summary uh, the, to, for the cardiologist is that it is very important to uh, uh, have around the patient a heart team in order to uh, uh, evaluate all the aspects of the indication in order to propose the best uh, uh, indication for one single patient. Thank you for your attention.